Hi friends with you too. Uh, it's me Marie uh, with uh, It's Me Custom Jewelry and tonight we're going to have a, a tutorial on uh, these Mega Rings. Y'all are going to really like them. And um, this is the ring that we're going to be making. And it has four one, two, three, four loops. One uh, emerald green stone. So, uh, let's get started. For today's tonight's video, we're going to need 18 gauge wire. <clears throat> a ruler, um, needle nose pliers, wire straighteners, um, and our cutters. We're going to need a bead of your choice. I have an emerald green bead right here. Or you can uh, have a black uh, bead, an uh, onyx bead. Or you can have just a regular little uh, round bead. Whatever bead you want to put on on it. These This bead here measures, let's see. Let's put these to a side. And you're going to need some flat wire. A little piece of flat wire. <clears throat> Um, if you don't have, uh, this flat wire, I made it with this 18 gauge wire. I just cut me a piece, got my hammer block and, and, uh, and pound it out like that. It's just a, I flattened it out, this wire with, the. Uh, with the hammer just like so so you're gonna need a piece of that so let's get started here let's see um, we're gonna go ahead and um, get 10 inches of this wire since it's a long ring and it has four hoops we're going to get 10 inches. That way we have more than enough. Let's see. Let's see if I can get a good angle here. Let's see. Okay. So we're going to get our snips and we're going to measure our 10 inches of wire. Well, let's go for, let's go ahead and get 12, a little bit more than not enough. Okay. And now we're going to get our needle nose. And we're going to make our little loop right here. Make sure this is flush cut. I wanted to say uh, hello to all my new subscribers from uh, Canada, Spain, the UK, everybody. Thank you so much for your support. And I hope you all continue to like my videos. Let's make our little uh, swirl right here. We're going to make a little swirl right here. Just like so. Okay. Just like that. We're going to get our ring mandrel. You can make it any size you want. Let me show you all the ring again. See? 
This is a mega ring. If there's not, I like the the stone to show off the ring. I like I like the stones to show them off. I don't like to cover my stones. I think they look very elegant with showing off the stone. So that's why I make them like this. Okay. So let's get started on making it. So let's get, let's go with an eight. I think it's an eight. Let's go with eight and a half. And we're going to go ahead and twist this on one. Two, three, and four. Okay, we have our four. That's our ring right there. And we're gonna, we're gonna get our uh, pliers. My little hoop stayed backwards, so we're going to bend it up like this. Just like so. Okay. And there's my hoop. Okay. Got to bend this down. And bend this down. It's very important when you're making this ring to measure it. You have to line line them up right here. See, you have to line them up. The little swirls, the little ring that we made there with our needle nose, little hoop right there. Now we need to get this this one right here bended. So we're going to put our, our finger right here and bend it up to measure it. And it looks like I did it too far back. Let's try it again. Right here. Okay. So we're going to have this little tail. I'm going to take it off our mandrel. <clears throat> By a rule of thumb, every time I make a ring like this, you know, you can get your, um, your, um, your, uh, ruler like this and see, but to not do that, I usually just put my finger there and I guess my finger is, uh, uh, one, one centimeter and a half so instead of doing that every time I just simply put my finger there and I just measure with my finger okay so I'm gonna cut on top of my finger like this okay then I'm gonna get my needle nose this swirl over here that I made in the beginning is going to my left. And this one is going to be going to my right. So, and it looks like it's a little bit too long still. Let's cut it a little bit more. All right. Uh, <clears throat> so, we're just going to get it like this. The correct way is to, to hold the, the, the pliers, the needle nose pliers up. So you don't hurt your wrists. And the correct way is to grab a hole right here. I see so many people using the pliers backwards. You, you're supposed to put it up like this. And you're supposed to bend in like this. Okay. That's how you do it. Okay. So it looks like it's going to be a little bit too big. Let's pull it back out. Snip it a little bit. 
and you have to adjust every time you make a ring you have to adjust um this is one of my favorite rings i designed this ring i oh god when i first started out years and years ago <laughs> i don't remember it's been a while and i had uh forgotten how to make it it's terrible when you design something and then you forget how to make it it just happens to me before you know when you forget how to make things because you had them there so long so we just adjust it it's so much fun to make this is my one of my diva rings these are this ring you gotta have one you just gotta make it it's just dead it's an eye uh how can i even put it? it stop you in your tracks people just look at it and they won't they just love this ring i've gotten so many compliments on this ring i hope that y'all get as many compliments as i have on it Okay, so now we're going to get a piece of 24 gauge wire and we're going to go ahead and wrap the, the 24 gauge wire right here. Give ourselves three wraps. I just thought that y'all would love this ring and I hope that y'all y'all do because I think they're glamorous so I I guess I'm kind of an extra person because I like really pretty things I know I'm not 18 anymore but for me, when I was growing up, you wouldn't leave the house. Not at least you were totally, uh, you know, everything was just right. Hair, makeup, just well put together, you know. I remember uh, having a, a lady friend, uh, oh lady friend that I used to work with she was an older lady but boy she sure did carry herself well well put together and I always admired I've always admired people that take the time to fix themselves up and and uh, all that I always had a a passion for jewelry when I was growing up uh, after school I used to work in a very elegant store that had mink coats and all kinds of um, elegant perfumes the best perfumes mink coats i remember the ladies that would go in there would buy their hats and their mink coats and their they were glam glamorous very glamorous ladies that i really liked and the way they would go all the way out and here's our bead right here so I said let me make something glamorous in my in my opinion it's glamorous everybody else will think it is too because it is that simple uh, <laughs> and then we have it like this right here we got our four rings one two three four 
and we're simple see this this is good for beginners too because make sure you hold this down like this because this is a tricky part right here you gotta hold it down and yep that's it see this is it we did it right this time Straighten out your wire. Okay. This is, my, this is my diva ring right here, honey. Pliers. Okay, come on, don't, don't open on me. There we go. Squeeze it together when you're pulling it and stack them side by side. The wraps. Side by side. Hold it, pull it, <clears throat> like so. If you don't make anything, any of my jewelry, make this one. You will not be sorry. You're going to love it. Make all my jewelry. Everything that I'm teaching, you can sell it if you want to. Or simply like me, you can just have it all there for your own personal use. You can also put a black stone instead of the green stone. You can put the black stone as well. I have a couple of black ones I haven't made. They're, I, no, I, don't, I don't know where they're at. My sister's getting my stuff, so... Um, so there you go. We straighten it out. And we're going to cut this right here. All right. There we go. Let's try it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, sir. Let's straighten her out. You know, I told y'all to straighten them out like this. The rings. Put pressure on it. Straighten them out. The best that you can. You can pull this side and this side a little bit. Make it center it. Okay. Okay, this is 18 gauge wire. So what we're going to do now, now that we have our ring made, you can leave it like that if you want to. Uh, I just like to for it to be a little bit more sturdy. So I flattened this wire out. I just hammered it with a hammer. And this... This right here. This is a, a stand for uh, my iPad. And I just got a little hammer and I just tapped it just like that. You get the wire like this. I don't want to make a big old. And you just tap it. And that straightens it out. I just have this hammer there. And I said, well, I'm going to go spend a whole bunch of money for a fancy hammer if I hardly ever use, I hardly ever use a flat, this flat um, wire. This is the only ring I really use it on. So... 
It's up to you if y'all want to spend the extra money in it. Go and buy uh, the hammer that they sell for wire. It's up to you. I don't want to make y'all go and buy a whole bunch of stuff. So, this is just 18 gauge wire. So, we're going to get it just like this. And we're going to put this flat. We're going to we're going to bend right here. Like this. And we're going to get all these rings together. And we're going to bend. We're going to wrap this wire around like so. Okay. And we got to center it and wrap. Okay. Get our needle nose. This is kind of hard. Why? It kind of gets kind of hard. So you got to be. When, when you're wrapping this flat wire. You're going to have to put some real effort in it. But it makes a real elegant finish. Oh my goodness. It looks so good. The wire, when you flatten it like this. Oh man. It makes it. This ring is just. So elegant to me. I love it. And I'm, like I said, made it like seven years ago. Yeah. See how it's staying? And we're going to cut this little tail right here before, before it gets... To the other one because we don't we're gonna we don't want it to poke the wire to poke us so we're gonna cut it a little bit right here like so get our needle nose straighten it out put that in there a little bit tuck it in we're gonna smash each one of these little loops Get them just right and maybe wrap up maybe one more time let's see we could wrap it a little bit more yeah. put a little bit more extra on it okay the good thing about this ring is that you can show off your beads, your your uh, whatever bead that that you like, you know. And I like the emerald bead, and I like uh, the the black one, the onyx bead. Yeah. It's just whatever you like. Okay. See how it's staying? And that's going to be my last wrap right there. I wrapped it one, two, three, four and a half. One. Okay. And we're going to snip it right in the middle. Like so. Like so. Tuck in our little tail. Okay. We're going to get this one. So we can put some force on it. Okay. Straighten it out. Okay. Let's 
And that's our ring. These are our rings. I hope y'all like my rings. I hope y'all get inspired and make yourself this mega ring right here. I think it's beautiful. Whatever bead you want, you can put the black, the, like I say, any bead you want. This, I wanted to um, point out, I winded up putting some of this flat wire on the bottom of this. I glued them, but I planned out some wire and I put it in the bottom because uh, when I went to put it on, it, it kind of opened. So, if you, in my other video when we made these, make sure you wrap a little bit of wire. If you don't want to flatten it straight like I did, don't. But if you just wrap a little bit of wire on the bottom of the loop, the little loop, the circles. Um, and these are our rings again. If you like my videos, please share, like, and subscribe and. And I hope uh, uh, to see, uh, load up more videos real soon. Thank all of you that subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much and have a good night.